Moscow, Slovenia finished above sides like the Czech Republic, Northern Ireland and Poland to make their playoff spot. Russia came off second best to Germany in their group, but the playoffs, the very least they'd be expecting. It was watched for us by Lou Macari and first Will Downing. Russian concerns about their recent form haven't manifested themselves in Goose hitting selection. All four English based players feature, despite most of them not being club regulars. So Pavlichenko starts, as do Billy Letinov and Yuri Zhirkov of Chelsea, who's only played twice since moving to Stamford Bridge. Bojan Jokic was the only injury worry in the Slovenian squad. It's as attack minded as manager Matyash Cech could have fielded. is in support again, it's on by Dedic, back towards Novakovic, needs support, arriving late, deflected off Bersan, almost in. They're giving it their best shot already, Slovenia. Oh, hello, lucky Slovenia, Slovenia here, lovely move, he's in the clear, looking for support, lovely ball into the box, ball off Bursa, I think that was heading for the back of the net. Zirian off again with good control, and he's taking on Jokic. Good ball, Ashevin might drop for Pavlichenko, whipped away by Bojan Jokic. So built on Zenit and CSKA, who have both won the UEFA Cup in recent seasons, but have fallen down the Russian league standing slightly this campaign. And the only overseas based player who's getting any regular football at all is their captain, Ashevich. <laughs> Magnificent break, stupendous save by Handanovic. Almost majestic by Zhirkov. What a break. That's an unbelievable run from Zhirkov from one end of the pitch to the other. Beats almost every player in a white shirt. But just can't get the ball past the goalkeeper. Wonderful run, great play, great shot with his left foot. Corin. Tricky one two was attempted with Kirim. And there is a big problem for Radostavlovic, but plays continued and Dedic has tried to find a way past Akanviev. Brzezutski there to police a wide. Once again, getting through that Russian defence quite easily. This time it's Kirin, tight angle, squeezes it past the goalkeeper, just into the side net. And... The entire back four has been tested by Ashevin and Pavlichenko, but they've got the upper hand so far. And Yukov. Pavlichenko presented himself, good touch shot. Bilyatinov, oh yes! Russia in front! Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Lovely turn at the edge of the box, it was still with plenty to do. Right into the roof of the net. What a wonderful strike. Up from Oak Pavlachenko lost the ball. Little toe poke. And there's our man, Billy, smashing it into the back of the net. And that'll take the pressure off Russia. Lovely twist, lovely turn, and a great strike. I would think the manager would be saying to him, hey, you've done well, we're away from home here. Keep playing, keep defending. Oh, don't fall down like he just has done, he's going to get sent off here. Has been it? raised, and it's Ashevin involved. It wasn't very clever. He's got to go off, though. He's like the headmaster, and it is yellow. He may look like a punished schoolboy, but at least he's still on the pitch. I think it's probably the right decision. And Ostavlovic is in big trouble, and he's given away the free kick. Bringing Arshavin down. 
And this is a useful position for Russia. Shashuri does a great deal here to bring Ashavin down. Well, Ignashevich let fly towards the end of the first half and it was on target. He's over it. And Ignashevich it is, and it's a good save by Handanovic. It was a real tester. Bouncing for Pavlochenko again. Let's go denying and clearing and keeping it. But the two front men have upped the ante, and that's what Pavlochenko is doing now. Good layoff for Oshavin, plenty of support. It bounced around. Biliatnov has got a second, and Russia's second. And they're in pole position now. Well, it's certainly our man Billy's evening. A wonderful first goal. I'm not so sure he knows a great deal about this one, but it counts. And when you're banging form, when you're riding high, these things drop for you. Wasn't a great pass from Arshavin. Gets the rebound, toe pokes it into the back of the net. Certainly on the evidence of the first five or six minutes of the second half, a second goal looked on the cards. Miscontrols it, gets the rebound. Quite a lucky rebound. And then into the back of the net. Long by Igor Akinviev. A beautiful ball. And he went for a first time to Pavlichenko, and he almost bore fruit. Oh, that's the best thing he's done the whole evening, Pavlichenko. Left-footed shot, tight angle. Touches by Zhirkov, but it's a Slovenian attack with Brechko, who's got four waiting in the middle. There's a super ball in. Novakovic lurking still, and it went beyond Rado Savlovic, who'd found himself in a central position, and he's out of position as Russia pushed forward now. Suryanov, perfect ball, Pavlichenko, straight at Handanovic. It could have been the winning of the tie. Well, he's unfortunate here, Pavlochenko. Just got a stretched ahead, this one. Can't get the power that's needed to get past the goalkeeper. But a wonderful Russian move. And this is Nate Pechnik, who's the third arrival for Slovenia. This is Bretzka. Good ball in towards the middle, has it opened up finally for the new man. Pechnik couldn't keep it on target. Oh, that's a reasonable chance for Pechnik, I know he's just come on, but inside the box, ball drops kindly for him with his left foot, never really convincing, way off target. You know, in these big games, you're just, the Slovenian, you're hoping that your player takes advantage of Half a chance. It's a good header on again by Sidechef, who has been just about everywhere since coming on. He's crammed a lot into his opening seven minutes on the pitch. Again, here goes Nate Pechnik. Support from Novakovic. Jokic drilled it in and has been headed home by Pechnik. And he's got them back in the game, and they have the away goal. And suddenly this playoff is alive again. Great save from the goalkeeper, but unfortunately for him, drops to Petsnic, an easy chance into the back of the net. Well, if you're Russian, don't be going booking your hotels yet. Well, I did think that 2-0 down, I still thought the tie was alive, well, and... I'm even more convinced now that on Wednesday night we've got a cracking game in prospect. Help them win, help deny Slovakia for half a week. Good firm header away. Couldn't find Arshavit. It's gone beyond the back. He's there again. Great save. And it's a match saver by Akanthiak. 
He's kept Russia in it. Oh, when that ball comes back in, it looked as if there was three Slovenian players in an offside position. Flag didn't go up. And what a save from the goalkeeper. What a save. That might just be last chance to learn. And aren't Russia pleased? It looked as if they were going to coast when they were 2-0 up with goals on the side of half-time from Dinia Bilia Letinov. But Slovenia fought back. Consolation goal from Nate Pechnik makes it interesting for the second leg. Russia 2, Slovenia 1.